Hi everybody, this is Noelle from Petite Garden Centers and um, we're kind of in late summer mode here and the grasses are looking absolutely gorgeous. Um, ornamental grasses are fantastic for your garden. There are some varieties that grow in full sun, best in full sun. There are some varieties that grow well in part shade. There are some varieties that grow in shade. Um, this one that I have next to me is actually panicum or switchgrass and it's a native grass um, here in Northeast Ohio and it is fantastic. Super hardy, deer resistant. It even is a host plant for caterpillars for your butterfly garden. So um, I highly recommend the panicum, all different varieties. We love ruby ribbons because of this beautiful burgundy red coloration on their foliage. Ruby ribbons grows to about two and a half, three foot tall in the garden foliage wise. And then you can see all those panicles are starting to come out right now and they'll fill out and open up and look absolutely gorgeous. Give your grass a little bit more ornamental interest, if you will, going into the fall. And then of course the winter months, cause that's why we really love ornamental grasses out there. Very, very easy care. Panicum or switchgrass are very easy to dig, divide, move. We'll go in full sun, we'll go into part shade as well. The more shade you give it, it'll survive, but you'll get less coloration, so just be aware. So with the grasses, what do you plant with a switchgrass? Well, we love these coneflowers. This is a sombrero series of coneflowers. This is hot coral, the color here. Beautiful, compact plants, so the sombrero series are still a good cut flower, don't get me wrong. They don't grow as tall as some of your average cone flowers do. Um, but the Sombrero series, as you can tell, may be about 12 inches tall right here in their pots. Um, they can get anywhere from like 12 to 18 inches, just depending on what color. And there are all different colors. There's pinks, there's yellows, there's oranges, corals, reds, so many to choose from. This plant, Again, being more deer resistant, and also what's really important about late summer is we start thinking about feeding the birds, getting our bird feeders ready, putting natural bird feeders out there. So you're gonna uh, use this plant as a natural bird feeder. The cones will feed them very, very well, and they'll actually stay on top of the stems, even going into late fall and winter, so they can still provide you with some winter interest. So it's a great plant to have in your garden uh, for cutting as well. The last one that we have here, really nice compliment, is this darker foliage ground cover sedum. Um, this is actually called Sun Sparkler Firecracker, and you can tell the foliage color is just a nice wine, kind of burgundy wine color. Um, it's a trailer creeper. In fact, it's creeping right out of the pots right now. Um, but when you have a ground cover sedum, I'm gonna tell you the deer are a little bit lazy and they don't tend to get down to the low ground and nibble on this one. So um, hopefully this will make a great deer resistant combo for you for sunny spots. So six or more hours of sun, direct sunlight out in the garden, and then, you know, combined with this beautiful ornamental grass. So, so enjoy.